If you have just left the narcissist, do this one simple thing and I promise you this is going to change the entire game of healing for you. Where do you start healing after leaving the narcissist? What is that first step that you need to take? Where does it all begin? If you are asking these questions, this episode is for you. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. Today in this episode, I am going to help you understand how to start healing right after leaving the narcissist. What is that first step that you can take and build momentum to keep moving forward? Let's get started with the basic understanding of how healing after narcissistic abuse does not work. Healing after narcissistic abuse does not mean digging in and talking about all the events, all the experiences you have had in there, talking about the things the narcissist did. I mean, yes, sure, talking about that stuff helps you feel validated and you can do that with your friend, with your therapist, but that is not where the real healing happens. The real healing is all about stabilization, at least, in the beginning stages of recovery after narcissistic abuse. Why? Because in the narcissistic relationship, you were exhausted. You were drained completely to your lost resource. In fact, you were turned into a shell of yours because the amount of stress that you were exposed to created an overwhelming demand for your body, for your brain, for your soul to survive. And now that you have left that relationship, you are chronically fatigued, your system has shut down completely, and there isn't much left that you can use now to recreate a life, to work on things and build things. Because you need resources, you need to recharge yourself, you don't have much energy left. So instead of focusing on building the walls, you need to focus on laying the foundation. Healing after narcissistic abuse is like constructing a building. You have to focus on laying the foundation first because if you try to construct the walls in thin air, they are going to collapse. This whole structure is going to collapse because there is nothing to support all the weight that you're going to put on earth. You need a solid foundation. And the solid foundation here is stabilizing the system. What does that mean? Stabilizing the system means giving yourself the liberty, the freedom, the permission to completely rest, to completely collapse, to completely fall apart so that you can be born new. Like a phoenix is born from its ashes. You're that phoenix. You have to burn in order to be reborn. If you have just left the narcissist, do this one simple thing and I promise you this is going to change the entire game of healing for you. Start creating a routine and focus on it. A routine that is simple, that is dependable, that is sustainable, that is repeatable. A routine that doesn't consume much of your resources and energy. An example of this kind of routine could be waking up in the morning, brushing your teeth, taking care of your body, your hygiene, taking a bath, eating a simple breakfast, then resting a lot, eating properly, and then working on your sleeping patterns, going to sleep on time. Focusing on the simple routine can help your body recover and do the recovery work really quickly because you're giving your body the basic things that it needs to fasten up the healing process. You are giving your body the permission to rest, the rest that you never got experience in the narcissistic relationship. You got to work on your sleeping patterns, make them right. Keep a log of when you go to sleep, how often you wake up during the night, and when do you wake up? What is the last waking moment for you? You have to see how this pattern is changing with time and what is happening with it. You have to make it right. You have to focus on your eating. See what you're nourishing your body with. What are you putting in it? What kind of food are you eating? Are you going to sugar? Are you using stuff that you shouldn't depend on? How can you cut that down? How can you eat healthy but sustain and maintain the process, the routine at the same time? It shouldn't create a burden. You don't have to go on a strict diet or some weird diet that is supposed to be healthy. You have to do something, as I said, something that is repeatable, dependable, sustainable, that is predictable. 
you have to create that predictability for you. You also have to make the body fully relax and release that survival stress which means you can start moving a little bit. Now, you don't necessarily have to hit the gym, which is why I said no hard stuff, very simple and easy to do stuff. And this exercise, this moving the body part can be started with just five minute or 10 minute simple walk in your own room. As simple as that. Or maybe you can start doing trauma-informed yoga. Anything, anything that you feel you can do. But everything that you do has to be simple, has to be basic. Do not focus on that, on the job that you want to get, you know, that you had to study for, appear in interviews for. Do not chase the partner. You're not ready for big stuff yet. You had to collapse. You have to hibernate for a couple of months to be able to step into the world and not be disappointed by your performance. Because I can assure you, if you were to do big things right now, you won't be able to do any of it because you don't have the capacity. So you gotta increase your capacity. This is what it is all about. Your capacity right now is of a little cup. If you pour stuff, I mean water in a little cup, it would not be able to hold a lot of it. But if the same cup is turned into a bowl, like a big bowl, it can hold a lot of water. Now, that is what is going to happen when you follow a simple, predictable, repeatable, sustainable, dependable routine every single day for months. We're not looking at weeks here, we're looking for months on a stretch, maybe a year. That is the kind of stress you experience in a narcissistic relationship. It just completely completely shuts you down. So you got to start with something that is very simple, something that is basic. And you have to stop judging yourself. You have to stop criticizing yourself for not making a lot of progress, for saying, well, maybe this is going too slow or I'm not at the place where I want to be. You won't be there because you're not prepared to be there yet. You can't be critical towards yourself. You can't become your own narcissist because that voice will follow you. You have to change it into a soothing, compassionate, calming voice, quite opposite to what you got to hear in the narcissistic relationship. You have to give yourself the permission to take as much time as much as you need to. You got to take those baby steps because those baby steps is what will lead you to taking a leap. What would take you to taking a big step ultimately. It will all come together. It will all make sense. But for now, you have to keep doing those small things. You have to do only as much as your capacity allows. So in a nutshell, your healing starts from stabilization, not digging in and working with all those memories and doing intense trauma work. That is the other stage. It's like you do that when you're more prepared to tolerate that kind of distress. But then you have to stabilize, stabilize, stabilize to begin with. And you have to give yourself the permission. You will have to stop criticizing yourself and you have to keep taking those baby steps. That was it for today's episode. I hope you found it insightful. If you did, please let me know in the comments. Drop a like and make sure to share this episode with others. I'll talk with you in the next one. Until then, let the healing begin.